Hello everyone and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Desiree. If you're new here, I do a lot of grocery hauls, um, coupon deals, and mom life stuff. Um, if you like videos like this, I hope you um, stick around and subscribe. And yeah, let's just get started. Today I spent about $477 at Sam's and Costco together. Um, I'll go through Sam's first and then I'll go to Costco. Um, go through the stuff I got from Costco. Um, first things first, my Sam's was completely out of toilet paper and paper towel. Um, and my Costco was completely, well, no, they weren't completely out. They had like maybe eight packs of toilet paper as I was standing there. So that was probably gone in a few minutes. And they had like uh, several like pallets of like paper towel. Um, let me know what the situation looks like in your area. Thank goodness I did not need any paper products today. But there were some people who were a little stressed because they needed it. So um, hopefully those stocks come, like it comes back in stock soon. So yeah, let's just get started. So minus the water back there, it's Kirkland. So that's clearly Costco. So these... Uh, few items here, these six items were from Sam's and I have the receipts right here to tell you the price because I love watching grocery hauls but I do like knowing the prices of what people paid um, and I know it depends on where you live too. I'm from Hawaii so I'm used to the higher prices and I now live in Kentucky where the prices are a lot lower. Um, it feels like they're on the lower end maybe, not sure of the nation but yeah let's see. So. Palmolive, this is a giant, how big is this, 102 fluid ounce bottle, um, antibacterial Palmolive, this was 7, no, that was not, yeah, 7.98, it wasn't on sale or anything, I usually wait, but I was running low on the, um, what is it, members mark, um, what's the blue one called, Dawn, hello, yeah, there's a blue, Dawn knockoff at Sam's Club that I really like. It's like $6.25 for a little smaller bottle than this that I really like. And it was completely out. People are, I guess, panic buying, maybe. Yeah, they're probably, they're panic buying. Let's just be honest here. But yeah, um, they did have a bunch of this and I am running low. So I wanted to get have one on hand. So there's that. Um, this Maxwell House, this was actually an Ibotta deal. It was $1 off and it's, this was $7.98, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, $7.98. Same as this. So $7.98, but a dollar off. I just like Maxwell House. I like it even more than Folgers. Folgers was on sale. Um, even the regular caffeinated one was on sale. And it's a much bigger container than this one. This one is only 33.9 ounces. But it was on sale for $5.99. Wait, is that right? No. Six ninety eight. Oh my goodness! I don't like how uh, Sam's Club has like their coupons that come off at the end. I wish it came off like Costco's, where you could clearly see how much was, how much um, on sale it was. Anyways, so yeah. So again, this was six ninety eight, and so, and the bigger one was as well for the caffeinated. So Folgers coffee. Um, this is for coffee maker in the morning on the weekends and my husband and I are together. And this one, I don't know why my lens is dirty or something. Anyways, hopefully it's not bothering you too much. But this one we use for um, cold brew because we like to drink cold brew in the afternoon. Um, caffeine does affect us a little bit. So yeah, we try to get decaf for that. Okay, I've got a sweet story behind this. Um, so these are women's, like, they're house shoes. Yeah. And they have the hard sole and everything, machine washable. I like that. And I liked this little design. It's like kind of like a zebra print. And it's really soft. I tried it on already. So looking around, I saw these. I've been wanting them for a little while. Picked them up. It was only $10. It was $9.99. And found my size and everything. And then put it back. And my son was with me and he's like, mommy, you need to get those shoes. Those shoes will make you happy. My son is four and a half if you're new to my channel. 
And right before we went into the store, we were talking about um, like the meaning of Christmas. It's not about Santa and receiving presents. It's about um, celebrating Jesus's birth and um, give, giving, giving people, you know, gifts because it's so much, you get so much more joy out of giving rather than receiving. Receiving is fun, but it's, it's better than give. It's better to give than to receive. I'm trying to instill that into my son at an early age. And yeah, I'll do more like Christmas uh, themed videos later. But yeah, he remembered that and he's like, I want mommy to have these shoes. He's like, I have money in my wallet at home and I want mommy to buy these shoes and then she can take the $10 out of my wallet. And I went back and forth and I still didn't want to do it. And he's like, he was really insistent. So he bought mommy shoes. Isn't that sweet? He was so excited about it. He like, he's like, okay, mommy, put those shoes on. He wanted me to like wear them, which it does say you can wear it outdoors because <laughs> the sole is hard, but no, uh, these are for in the house. But um, yeah, isn't that the sweetest thing? Um, yeah, that's a cute little story. Um, so yeah, that was nine. $9.98 for those. They had a bunch of different patterns and they even had a cheetah one for people who are interested in that. I thought about getting that one, but my son liked these and this is more my color anyways. I like I like the color black. I wear black almost every day. Um, second to last thing, bananas. You know, I always buy more organic bananas. These were $1.82 for this giant pack. Um, they are They were super green when I bought them and they're like turning yellow which is good we want them to be ripe and ready to go and last thing is my olive oil um this was $7.99 it's been that price for years I wish Costco sold it in this like glass jars like these Costco sells a two liter this is only one liter by the way I think yeah this is one liter they sell a two liter in a plastic bottle for $18.99 and it's not organic either so it costs more it's in the jug that I don't like, and it's more of it. And yeah, I I rather buy these smaller ones in the glass jar. They used to sell them, and I'm really disappointed that my Costco doesn't anymore. And I will keep buying this until I don't have a Sam's membership anymore. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. So this tiny little portion here was 44 out of pocket, and then I got a dollar back on Ibotta. If you're interested in Ibotta, I have my link below. Um, all it is, it's, it's a cash back app so there's no paper coupons with when you do that you look at the app and there's always a bunch of really good deals and um, I use it quite a bit um, what happens is you submit your receipt and you get like your one dollar to your account and when you're at twenty dollars you can cash out to PayPal or you can redeem it for gift cards which is just always fun so yeah that was my tiny little Sam's Club area. I do hope to go back again before Christmas. So yeah, I just ran in for a few things. So now going to Costco, $2.99 for this thing of water. You know I buy that every month. And moving to, I guess, oh, there is one fun thing. Let's start here. So, oh, this is my, um, a sample. Yay for Costco samples. I mean, I can. I'll use that. It's an ultra clean um, laundry pod. Yeah, so that's cool. Oh, and the cool thing about these samples, when you get them, these are good for travel. When we are all traveling again, they're nice to have in your suitcase. And um, I've never had one pop on me or anything. And yeah, it's better than buying it from the little machine for like two or three bucks or more, like going to Hawaii. I think I spent four bucks on a little thing of Tide, like the powder Tide from a machine because I didn't have any of these. So yeah. Um, great for traveling these things so yay look what I bought I bought a GoPro here hero 8 um, this is the older version there the 9 is out I believe for purchase now but this is this was the deal so they're normally $339.99 but starting today which is the 20th when I went shopping they're on sale for $60 off making it $279.99 on Amazon when I looked at it this morning it was $2.99 for just the camera. This includes a case, an extra um, battery, and like the stick. Oh, and the memory card too. 
So there's all this stuff. I don't know too much about electronics, but yeah, hold on. I had to clean off my lens a little bit. I'm not sure if it did anything, but there's all this. If you want more specific information, just ask me below and I'll be willing to try to help you with any of that. But yeah, um, really excited about that. So 280 for this whole set. And um, we have a, how old is that? Like a nine year old tough camera that we want to um, replace or use both. It still works. The battery just dies really fast. But yeah, so I'm really excited about that. That was the bulk, as you can see, of my um, total because my table's not as full as it usually is. But I have some fun things here. So yes, let's just move on. So these were also on sale. They had the asterisk. So um, once they're gone, they're gone. And they had quite a bit of it at my store. So I'm guessing it just dropped. They're normally $15, which is already an awesome price. $14.99 each. So um, they're Lego City Super Packs. There's two in one. And I opened a box because I was curious if there really was two boxes in there. And it is. So they were on sale for $9.99 each. I got the two different ones. That was the two varieties. And I plan to actually split them up. My son and he has little friends and cousins and stuff that like Lego. So... There's four presents right there. Um, typically, when you buy them on Amazon, one set is like $10. And if you can get it under $10, that's an awesome deal. So being that they're $5, that's a really awesome deal. Kind of makes me wish I bought more and I could have did some donations. But yeah, let's see. we'll see if we even go back to Costco. We might. I tend to go more often closer to the holidays. So yeah, really awesome deal. $9.99 each again. Um, if you have little boys or girls, girls can play with Lego stuff too in your life to buy toys for. Next thing, not interesting at all, but extremely necessary, $6.99 for a two-pack of the windshield wiper fluid, two-in-one all season, the orange one. I go by color. <laughs> um, yeah, we use quite a bit of it, like especially in our truck. My husband said he uses like a, almost a whole gallon. So yeah, yeah. Um, $6.99, I don't know if that's the greatest price. It's probably cheaper, a little cheaper if you get get it. Um, like at Meijer, when it, there's the um, automobile sales. But this year has been crazy with the sales and the couponing and stuff. It's not been a normal year. So, yeah, we bought it. We know we'll use it. Next thing, I buy this usually quarterly. I just opened one bag, so it's not that we were completely out. But I just wanted to have it on hand. Um, is this 12 pounds of Epsom salt. My son uses this to take a bath. I just put one cup of it into his um, warm bath water and it helps with like sore muscles, tired feet, yada yada. Um, good for adults too. Just don't miss, if you're bathing a child, make sure they don't drink it because then it could act as a laxative. <laughs> I was, when I was, um, researching on using a little bit for his baths and stuff. Um, it said that. And um, yeah, just where kids tend to have more um, growing pains and stuff, this really does help a lot. He rarely wakes up with um, like, not muscle aches, but you know, growing pains. So yeah, that's $7.99 for that. I get that, like I said, quarterly. Um, yeah, we'll go that way, whatever. So this was, how much was this? Hmm. Where is it? <laughs> Sorry, there it is, $6.99. It's a little high. I think I usually try to wait till it's on sale, but my husband's going, been going through this a lot. And it's shelf stable, so it's a drink that, even my son drinks almond milk. He'll drink almond milk and Cow's milk, he's not that picky. I'm the picky one. I like rice milk and cow's milk. <laughs> so $6.99 for six count of this unsweetened almond non-dairy beverage, vanilla flavored, um, and they're in one quart packages. So yeah, it's nice that they're shelf stable um, and we only take one out at a time and throw it in the refrigerator and he uses it in his um, cold brew. So back here is some actual cold brew, um, caffeinated, it's 12, 11 fluid ounce cans. It's, it is tasty. I'm someone who likes a lot of, who likes coffee creamer in my coffee. And when I drink it like this, you don't need it. It's just good quality and yeah, really good for on the go. It's, this was $13.99 for a 12 pack and 
to me that's a little pricey but um it's 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 worth it oh and you know what i don't think i added that to the total i bought this a week or two ago when we went to get costco pizza so actually i should up my total <laughs> so yeah that's 13.99 it is good so this was a costco hot deal i believe you know they have all these different sale books that come out this is good until the deal is good until the 22nd, so Sunday, and I'm planning on posting this early Sunday morning. So if you see this Sunday and you want this tomato sauce, this Rouse, Rayos, whatever, marinara sauce, I've heard nothing but good things about this. And this is on sale, and it is normally $10.39 for two jars, which I also heard is a good deal anyways, but $2.40 off, so it makes it $7.99 for... Um, to 28 ounce jars so yeah um, I've been anxious to try this um, just haven't got around to it um, my son and husband aren't biggest fans of pasta I am but um, so we don't cook it that often which is why I don't buy tomato sauce all that often but yeah um, eight dollars for this and normally like one jar like this big is like eight or ten dollars for like Whole Foods and stuff so yeah excited to try that um, we're going this way. This was also on sale, Unreal Bars. It's normally $9.49, which I would never pay that for chocolate. <laughs> well, okay, so I'll get back to the other thing. $9.49 for this, and it's $2.40. Look, $9.49 minus $2.90. I'm sorry, guys, I cannot speak today. So that makes it $6.60 for this. Um, 15.3 ounces, how many? 29 mini bars, I believe, yeah, I believe they're individually wrapped. There's the nutrition facts if you care. And, um, very, very clean ingredients as far as I can tell. Um, we're big fans of mounds, so it sounds like a healthy mounds. And there's less sugar, my son likes coconut stuff too, so yay, we get a treat. Um... We're going into holiday season, which means a lot of unhealthy treats. So if we at least crave just chocolate or we want something really small, that will be good for that. Moving on, another sale deal. And I only buy this on sale. Um, I like, there's, sorry, that flexion on there is pretty bad. But um, this Kerrygold butter was, it's normally $12.99, but it's $4 off. So that is $8.99. Yeah, $8.99 for four 8-ounce bars. So if you haven't tried Kerrygold and you're like me who usually sticks to the cheap butter, when it goes on sale, just try it. Just get one box every so often. It's so good. It's it's It, like, makes certain meals. Like, I do a lot of hard-boiled eggs with um, hemp hearts and everything but the bagel seasoning, and I do butter to, like, hold it together. And I'm telling you, this is the best butter ever. <laughs> um, it softens a lot quicker at room temperature, so be wary of that. But it's just so good. I don't know. Like, it's it's milk from grass, Irish grass-fed cows. That's what it is. And it is salted. In the picture, they showed a, um unsalted virgin. My store didn't have it. So if you're looking for unsalted, check your store. But yeah, eight ninety nine for this. It's it's worth it, and I will buy it every time it goes on sale. <laughs> okay, um, let's go back this way. My organic tortilla chips, Kirkland brand. I buy this just about every month. If you um, didn't catch last month, I didn't buy it. And excuse the mess over there. <laughs> I think that's my son was playing like play doh. And he like recycles things, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, organic tortilla chips. These were $4.79, and it's a giant 40-ounce bag. There's that. It's the best tortilla chip I've ever had. I buy it all the time. Okay, we got two of these three-pound things of Kirkland 100% Colombian coffee. They are $9.99 each. Um, one, my husband bought one. His friend at work gave him 10 bucks because they... um. They buy coffee and bring it in and they do a pot. So like, a, you know, a pot, well, not one pot a day, but, you know, they 
someone keeps making coffee. So their their part is um, bringing coffee in every few months or so. So yeah, they'll have coffee for a while. And this stuff is really good. Really, really good. I like it so much better than Folgers. I still do like my Maxwell House, and I like that it's cheaper. But yeah, it's it's really good stuff. If you've never tried the Kirkland ground, um, this is ground coffee, by the way. They do have some variations. I think there is a Kirkland one made by Starbucks that um is whole whole bean. If you're interested in that. So next thing is semi sweet chocolate chips. This is a four and a half pound bag. This was $7.99. I think that went down in price. Maybe. Maybe from last year. I don't know. So my story on chocolate chips is like the normal 12-ounce bags. I will use a whole bag when I bake something. So I need the big one. This will maybe last me the holiday season. I bake and I give away. So it's not just me eating it, okay? But <laughs> four and a half pounds of chocolate. And it's really good quality as well. So there was also something interesting. It was 9 79 or something for a bag a little smaller but it was made with um the sugar in it was made with stevia well like this the sugar in it was stevia versus regular cane sugar so yeah if you're interested in that um check out your costco and see if they have it um i don't believe i've seen it in anybody's hauls yet so it might be really really new so if you're looking to cut sugar that way um that might be a good um substitution my husband's not a big fan of like other than like this he was okay with trying that but like in baked goods he's like just just use the real stuff <laughs> you know um so yeah let's just move on here Havarti cheese this went up in price a little bit it was now $8.99 it's still kind of a little smash there oops <laughs> for two pounds it's the best cheese when I went to Sam's Club, I thought about getting theirs. And their cheese is good, too. Don't get me wrong, like their sliced cheese. But this is just my favorite. So I got this one. It is 32 slices. It lasts us a month because we do... San my husband gets a sandwich for work every day and just burgers and other stuff. We'll, we'll use that really quickly. And the last thing here... I think that's the last thing. I always tend to forget something. But yeah, here's, we got two, it's the same, oven roasted turkey breast Kirkland brand. My husband said this was the best um, lunch meat he's ever had. And we've had their ham, their chicken, and their roast beef, and he just really loved this. And the funny thing is we, we haven't bought it in such a long time. Maybe he just got tired of the other two, but my plans on this is keeping one in the fridge and throwing one in the freezer because um, these freeze really well. So yeah, two things of lunch meat. These were eleven seventy seven each. They are six sixty nine a pound, so they're about one point seven six pounds each. So yeah, hopefully this blurriness isn't showing too bad on to you. But yeah, so four seventy seven plus I'll say it was fourteen. So what is that? Four ninety? So $490 on everything here, including tax. Um, I'm in the state of Kentucky. I know that that um, prices are different depending where you are. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions below, please, please feel free to ask. I know I tend to ramble and I tend to forget and leave things out. And I might have even forgot an actual product on the table. I've done that before. I'm, I know that. <laughs> So yeah, again, if you have any questions, any comments, um, please let me know below. How are your stores looking? My stores, food-wise, was looking okay. Um, some of the easier things to grab, like chicken nuggets and frozen pizza, were a little on the slimmer side, but it's nothing like what it was back in March and April. The only thing missing was like the toilet paper. So hopefully you're stocked up in toilet paper and don't um, <laughs> don't necessarily need that right now. But yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.